So, first things first, Baptiste. Looks like a cool fucking hero, but not really bothered about this. So let's have a look. Beam type damage is now reduced by 20% when hitting armor. I don't know what it was before. That's the thing. I think it was just depends on how much it ticked. So I think it's like, I don't know if this is a better. I don't know if this is better or worse. Cause I'm not too sure what it was before. This change here is a long time coming. This is like a TF2 change. Like you fire a crit rocket. Fly across the map and hit. So it's 50%. It was just 50%. There's no way it's 50%. I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So this is just like... This just makes sense. This also increases the skill cap of Mercy by a lot, I think. Or like at least at least makes her like useful now. Because like what you can do if you're really good at Mercy. And particularly like far matchup. You can in theory like flick between damage as she shoots the rocket. As she's going to shoot the rocket. Then go back to healing. Then back to damage. Back to healing. I like this change. It's so much more logical, for sure. And like, this is like something, a change that, I don't know why I wasn't in the game early, but I like it. This change in particular might be the best change in the game. This change is crazy. Like, specifically stuff like, mainly it's D.Va and a booster is just ridiculous, right? Um, like, you can now uppercut a D.Va when she's flying and she flies 20 meters into the sky. It's ridiculous. It's so strong. It disrupts D.Va so much. It's a really, really decent nerf to D.Va. All boops affect D.Va like significantly more than previous. So this is a really good change. And specifically on Doomfist, your right click's knockback is going to be more consistent. Especially if she's like flying towards you or if she's like, if she's like walking up to you and shooting you. It's going to be more consistent. But specifically uppercutting a D.Va whilst flying is now going to just completely fuck her up. So this is really nice. Um, good change. You see, like, the hit damage boosted, and you the land hit, but doesn't do any damage. This is pretty... It's, I mean, sure. Nice quality of life change. Makes sense. Nice. This nerf is stupid. Why would you nerf Anna? Anna does not need a nerf. Anna is getting no playtime at all. Anna is getting almost no playtime right now, like, because everyone's running Zen and Goats. Giving Anna's... Giving Anaral a nerf seems really, really bizarre. It, it doesn't seem to make any sense to me. But fine. Okay, but now this is where we this is where we start talking, boy. This is where we start talking. Seismic slam and rising uppercut cooldowns reduced by one second each. This is such an insanely good nerf. Uh, sorry, buff. This is such a fucking sick buff, dude. I can't tell you how fucking much I'm looking forward to this. This gives you so much more uptime. It gives you so much more... Like, again, it makes it just feel so much more fluid. He He's now turning more into a tanky bruiser than what he is before. Now you can just use these. Like, I'm going to start using these cooldowns to just build my shields. Harass, build shields, get out. And come back in when I have 400 HP. And then go, like, super aggressive. Like, these changes I'm really happy with. It means the hero can play more aggressively. He can, you know... He can weave his combos a lot more. It's more. It's not just like you right click, you run away. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot decent. It's much more of a brawler. Yeah, you're right. Much more of a brawler. I think this is gonna be good. This specifically matters a lot in the one v one against like Diva and against um, Roadhog and against Tank. Sorry. Like this is like, this is gonna really change all of the tank matchups, and I think this is gonna be really, 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 really nice against tanks. Against Squishies, it's not gonna matter that much, but against tanks, really nice. So next, Hanzo. Why? I don't know why. I guess they're buffing all the DPS in the game. But I don't know why you'd buff a Sonic Arrow. I hate this ability. I think it's stupid. I think it I think it is an incredibly unhealthy ability for the game. War hacks in general. I don't like this. But whatever. It's not that big a change. Who cares? Soundwave comes from offensive assist. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it makes no difference. This is a good change. I don't know why they buff it in the first place. But nice. This change... I don't know why it's in the game. This seems very weird. You stream like so this is like... Specifically, if, if you if you're like five man hiding behind a Ryan shield when he, when he ults, you're just gonna die instantly. But this doesn't really make a difference. This is kind of a non-change. This is like almost a noticeable. This is nice. So, May change. I don't know why they buffed May's primary fire DPS. I do not understand. This is just a weird change that makes no sense. 
I saw health reduced from 500 to 400. It's a pretty, pretty sick, significant nerf. It's a relatively big nerf. Um, right, I don't know. Just, just, just a really weird change. Don't know why they did it. Biographs helo time duration from 3.3 to 3.4. Let me get my calculator up. Okay. So this, so the HPS of this passive went from 50 divided by 3, 16.7 to now 65 divided by four. So the HPS got nerfed. So this technically does less HPS, but not by much, by like 0 0.5. But what this does is it makes it so like your management of your healing is a lot, is a lot easier to manage. Why are you guys question marking me? Because of calc. Oh, is this on my head? Oh, you can't see the calc. Okay, of course. Sorry. This doesn't really matter. I mean, again, this like the passive on your right click was never oh, oh like, on your healing beam. I don't know. It's just I would say it's a nice change. It just makes it's just a general nice change. So I, I don't think this is, is going to change much, but it's just nice. Moons be penalty by firing just from fifty percent to thirty percent. I think that's fine. Sure, doesn't matter. I don't think it's going to change. Now this is an interesting one. Minimum explosion damage increased from 16.5 to 20. I think this is pretty much a non sequitur again. I don't think this is gonna matter. The difference between doing 16.25 damage of the rocket and 20 damage when it's max splash is four damage. So it doesn't really matter. I don't think this is gonna be significant in any way. Now this change is pretty sick. I think that Deck back to 20 damage. This is when Soldier was OP, OP for a while, was when his damage was 20. And I think this is good. The delay before you fire out from a sprint is reduced from 0.5 to 0.3. I think it's also a really nice change. So this is a really, I really like these Soldier changes. I think he really needed them. He's going to be a lot more fluid to play and he seems a lot, much nicer. And target rip time and mortality field doesn't really matter. Who cares? It's relatively minor. Okay, Sombra buff. If I see Sombra and it's not a nerf, I'm questioning my life. Why the fuck are you buffing Sombra? The buff doesn't matter, really. It's it's again, it's it's a pretty nice buff. And it's actually gonna be pretty strong. And I don't know why the fuck they buffed it. I mean it makes sense, but I don't know why you'd not compensate. I mean Sombra's already broken as is. Incredibly overpowered hero at high levels and in team play, just a monstrously strong hero. I don't know why they've buffed her, but the buff itself I don't mind. Because right now, you must never hack health packs because just hacking people is so much more efficient. So I think it's fine, sure. And then Torbjorn buff? Pretty sick. This is definitely a nice buff. Is it going to make Tor playable? Don't think so. Don't think it matters. Widowmaker. I don't know, dude. I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf. This gives her a lot more counterplay, makes it stronger, but it gives her more counterplay. So I don't actually have a big problem with it. So sure, whatever, don't care that much. Okay, this buff here, I can't tell you how huge this buff is gonna be, by the way. This is gigantic. So many times on Hammered, you're in situations where it felt like it, the, the risk, like the reward of using Adaptive Shield in the middle of a bunch of people is not actually that big like you get an extra 3 400 hp but by the time that you get out of your by the time you get out of your roll and you pop your shield you actually take like 200 extra damage because you can get headshot on your slow so this is going to make this hero so much more tanky like this is a gigantic buff like so huge it's actually kind of mind-blowing this might be too much of a buff this might be too much it's crazy this is such a strong buff i can't i can't emphasize this enough okay don't care about this, don't care about this, nothing big. Yeah, no no Doomfist bug fixes, by the way. This is apparently a bug. Fix a bug with knockout and usually follow suits like okay, now this this bug was interesting. If you dashed into a Doomfist as he's punching you, you would go the other way, like easily two or three times the normal distance. So like you just get flung back into 20, 20 fucking walls. So this is interesting. Both these Genji bug fixes are pretty nice with the hero, but this one in particular, 
but the, one of the problems is if you're really low towards the end of your dragon blade, if you pop your deflect, it, you get like 0 0.1 seconds value. So like, I did not realize this was a bug, but apparently it's a bug. And now this is actually a pretty big change for Genji. It's pretty solid, honestly. Surprisingly useful. Okay, everything else is pretty much not important. Yeah, okay. So right now, ba okay, overall, let me just like uh, summarize. I would say that the biggest winners of this patch for sure, Doomfist is a huge buff. The buff is really, really nice. I think most of these are pretty much non non impactful. Soldier 76 is getting a really big buff. Torbjorn's getting a relatively big buff and Hammond is getting a huge buff. Other than that, no Zen nerfs, which is very weird. I don't know why you wouldn't nerf Zen. Easy hero to nerf. Seems really strange they didn't. No break nerf. I don't know. I don't know if Briggs OP, but no Brig nerf, no nerf, no direct nerf to goats, just buffs to other heroes. And I, it's an interesting strategy. I don't think it's enough to, to fix goats though. So, yeah, yeah, and some nice and some nice bug fixes on Genji. But most of this patch is just like quality of life and like very very small tweaks. So it doesn't really make that big much of a difference. But anyway, let's get back to Overwatch.